Well, I tell you what, those that want to be to be the shepherd, I'm gonna I'll, I'll, I'll let you know, and you can follow. We had uh, gathered, we had gathered about a hundred people that actually uh, gathered on that Sunday in November, that very cold, chilly day in November. But it was a happy day because there were so many people that were so excited on that day to start our new ministry. We, uh, on that day, we organized the Gospel Truth with three officers, Pastor Mobley, Deacon Gene Mobley, his brother, and Sister Lavinia Williams were the three board of directors on that day. I remember they were sitting out in the lounge and they came and questioned about the place. And then Ms. Gallon and I got together and we decided that we would uh, allow them to use the facility at no, at no cost. Oh, in the chapel we had music. That's where Pastor Hayes came in. We were singing one Sunday at a musical in Gatlin's Chapel. We were looking over at our musician uh, for her to direct us. We had a hard time seeing her. And then up came Pastor Hayes out of nowhere. And that's when I fell in love with Pastor Hayes was that day because he came to our rescue. We needed a director and he was it. And he's been the director for many years. We looked around for a while going after service at Gatlin, going to different storefronts and different churches, looking for a home and Mr. Gatlin told Reverend, if we bought some land, which was vacant down a block away from him, that he would build the church for us. And he said, I like Reverend Mobley. He says, Reverend Mobley is a real humble man. And I like the way, you know, he handled his people in this church. He says, I, I said I would never build a church for another preacher, but I think I want to do this for Reverend Mobley. I think he deserves it, and I think he would appreciate it. So that's why he went ahead and committed the time. He had some encouragement from our Mary, Mary Goffney, who loved Reverend Mobley as well. She told him, do it. You do it. If that's what you feel within your heart, you do it. Reverend Mobley deserves it. On the fourth Sunday of uh, February 1995, we, we marched out of Gatlin's Chapel after our morning service, all of us that were present. The young people had balloons. We made a circle around the lots and sang songs and had prayer and our pastor spoke to us and uh, our chairman at the time, Deacon Gene Mobley, he spoke to us and we just praised God and the shovel hit the gravel, indicating that construction was about to begin on our new home. But to finally see, once it was completed, we finally marched in. We didn't have windows in at the time, but still, it was ours. We had a church home, a place that we could call our own. The church was, the choir was here singing. The tears were rolling. We were happy. Everyone was happy. We were just ecstatic to finally have a church home, the gospel truth. Even after entering into the gospel truth, the people kept the mind to work allowing us in 2008, years earlier than anticipated and expected to pay the mortgage off.
blessing. That's why I'm just as happy, I'm, you know, as I can be about it. When I go to bed at night, I wake up, I thank God for it, for it. Yep, a lot of ministers, they are uh, they're going through. They don't have the people that I, I have. God be the glory for that. The, the work is not easy. We've done a church under construction. I'm trying to do everything that I can. First of all, please God. And to make Pastor Mobley, who's looking from the other side, proud of me and the works that I do for this ministry.